Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFP TV SHOT Show 2024. My favorite company, best last name in the world. If your first name is Daniels, you want your last name to be Defense. So what is Mr. Defense cooked up for this year? Of course, I'm joking. I'm with my buddy, Mike. We already talked about this on TXB TV on the main channel today, the new Daniel H9. Talk to me about it, like, tell me everything. This is the condensed version for SHOT Show. So this has been a three and a half year labor of love for Daniel Defense. This gun originally started off as a Hudson H9 legacy gun, and we have revamped literally just about every part on the gun has been touched. Um, and changed, improved, and ruggedized, except for one part, uh, it was alluded to the sear block spring that stayed the same. Um, the gun is more reliable. The gun is more durable. The gun is better shooting. It's more accurate. It's literally better in every single way compared to the other gun. And it is completely state of the art. Uh, optics ready is a given. Uh, the bore axis makes the shooting experience very intense, very fast. The gun is completely hand -related and it's fun to shoot as well. Uh, we've been out here shooting all day. I've seen new shooters, old shooters, um, shooters of all sizes pick the gun up and just start ringing steel. Um, really makes me happy to see. And Mike, you were one of the engineers on this project, so you're not a marketer, like you know what happened. You worked very closely on it. Yeah, so I was, the, uh, I was the project manager for it uh, on the engineering team, and we have been in it the entire time. Um, the company itself has learned a lot about handguns, uh, and as I told in the beginning of the company that it wasn't going to be something simple like going to the 9 millimeter tree and just picking a gun off. Um, we've grown as a company uh, at, as we matured this project and matured this product. Um, and I think, I think this is going to be the personal walk of, uh, of guns in the future. Tell me about the testing that was involved, because I understand from our conversation, you guys expended about a million rounds of 9 millimeter. Literally, right? Yeah. So just, yeah, just, if it's not a million rounds, it is Close. just under. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've run everything through 50 grain uh, Liberty Civil Defense uh, up to 165 grain hush, that I think is where the limit we've run yeah. this thing. Um, it runs plus P, it runs uh, reduced power factor. Uh, it runs anything that you can put through it just about. And as far as testing, uh, it's testing in the cold, testing in the hot, when it's wet, doesn't matter. And I think we've kind of glossed over just because at this point, when this video goes live in the next day or two probably, everyone will have, have seen a lot of what Daniel Defense has put out there. Hopefully everyone's watched our video that we did on TFB TV on the main channel because I gotta say it's pretty good. It's a pretty good I, video, in my, in my opinion. Slightly biased. I'm, I'm, I would agree with that. But let's not overshoot what this gun is. What is the H9 in concept? Why is this different than anything else? Uh, it is, it's different than any other gun because it, do, it is the only striker for a handgun that does employ a straight pull trigger. This bore axis as well does make a difference in the shooting experience. Um, it's not defended, it's handling, um, and it's really easy to acquire, really easy to get on target. Um, it's really, it comes down to the user friendliness of this gun that really makes it a, a real joy to shoot. And, and I think people are gonna really gel on that. And this is a concealed carry option. It's, a, I guess, a quasi competition. I mean, it's not like a race gun by any measure, but it, it seems like it's very versatile because you're talking about a gun, if I remember correctly, that is an inch thick and at its thickest point, which would be right here in the yep. ambi slide lock is, uh, 1.2 inches, 1 .2 am I inches. saying that right? Yeah, it it carries a lot smaller than it is and it shoots a lot bigger than it is, is what I like to say. I like that, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put that in my pocket. I'm gonna keep that yeah. one. No, it is it is a very versatile gun. It gives you a lot of the advantages of a much larger gun in terms of shootability um, without the penalties of that. You don't have, when you swing the gun, uh, going from target to target, you don't have um, that inertia to fight with a larger gun. Uh, you don't have the holster issues when you're actually feeling as far as feeling like a lead weight on your side or your front or wherever you like to carry. Um, and it's big enough to get a hold of and get to work immediately. Right. 
it all sounds great. I know you guys put a lot of testing into this. I know that from my prior experience, I know that this gun is gonna shoot well, but you know, when we talk about Daniel Defense, I mean, I know you guys like price wise and, and everything are right around like uh, a PSA Ruger, right? You guys kind of kind of near here, right there. So I assume the price on this is gonna be about 400 bucks, right? No, I know, look, you're Daniel Defense. You make, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best AR-15s out there. So I understand that this is not going to be an inexpensive gun. Rip the bandage off. It's not gonna be an inexpensive bun, gun, but it's not gonna be an expensive gun either. It's a 12 million nine is what we're coming out of. So for a premium compact gun that does a lot of what the bigger guns can do and carries like the smaller guns, I think it's priced right. See, I'm a total DD shell, so I'm like, yeah, yeah, it sounds good to me. And everybody knows that I'm a big, you know, expensive gun whore too. You won't catch me at that Palmetto State Armory booth. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I love those guys too. I love those guys too. I really love, uh, everyone in, in the gun industry that's doing what you guys are doing, mm -hmm. innovating, yep. uh, so, I think this is wonderful. I think Shot Tour is wonderful. I think you guys are wonderful for watching TFB TV. Stay tuned. We're bringing you more from Las Vegas.